My name is Allie Holtz, and I work at the Wood County District Public Library in the Children's Place, and I'm here to read you some stories. First, I hope that you notice my beautiful crown. I worked very hard on it, and guess what? You can make one, too, if you use our curbside pickup service and you kind of request some books, or you can just drop by. You can get one of our Connect magazines, and in the back, you can make your own prince or princess crown, and then you can wear them when you watch our story times on Facebook or YouTube. Uh, this summer, we're doing our story times, all themed fairy tales, because our summer reading program is Imagine Your Story, which is all fairy tales and folk tales and legend. We're really excited to share it with you. If you'd like to sign up for our summer reading program, you can go to our website, wcdpl.org, and click around to the Read Squared link, and you can make your own account and start earning prizes for your reading. All right, let's get started. I don't know if you noticed my friends today. I have some dragons here, and we're going to have a dragon-themed story time. Here's my buddy. He likes to read, and he also likes to roar. Roar. He is going to pick out our first book today. Here he goes. Hmm. Oh, look at this. This is a good one. There was an old dragon who swallowed a knight. That sounds not like a good choice. All right, my buddy the dragon, he's going to sit down here and listen to the story. These two are going to stay with me. All right, here we go. There was an old dragon who swallowed a knight by Penny Parker Klosterman, illustrated by Ben Mantle. Oh, there's a nice map here. It's like a map of a fairy tale neighborhood. You could make a map of your neighborhood and where you think maybe dragons could live. Here we go. There's the knight. There's a poster wanted. There's a sneaky looking dragon. This book was published by Random House. So we're really glad that they made this book so we can read it today. Here we go. It says, danger, this way. This knight, he is brave. He's reading his map. There was an old dragon who swallowed a knight. I don't know why he swallowed a knight. It's not polite. It's not nice. Look, you can see inside his belly. There's the knight, and he's going, what? The horse seems a little concerned. He's hiding. There was an old dragon who swallowed a steed, that's a horse, that galloped around at a terrible speed. Oh, how the dragon wished it would stop that clippity, clippity, clippity clop. He swallowed the steed right after the night. I don't know why he swallowed the night. Gulp, he's swallowing that horse. It's not polite. There's the knight and his steed, his horse. They're together in that dragon belly. There was an old dragon who swallowed a squire. A squire is someone who helps a knight get into his armor. Who hollered, that's hot, when the dragon breathed fire. Ouch! He swallowed the squire to calm the steed that galloped around at a terrible speed. He swallowed the steed right after the knight. I don't know why he swallowed a knight. It's not polite. And there's the horse. He's going clippity clop, clippity clippity clop. He's still running around in that dragon's belly. Oh, that'd give me a stomach ache. There was an old dragon who swallowed a cook, a savory cook, and his recipe book. He's got his recipe book right here. Oh, looks like he's maybe cooking frogs. Oh, wow. He swallowed the cook to fatten the squire. He swallowed the squire to calm the steed that galloped around at a terrible speed. He swallowed the steed right after the night. I don't know why he swallowed the night. It's not polite. Clippity clop, clippity clop. There was an old dragon who swallowed a lady. It seems quite
quite shady to swallow a lady. There she is. She's singing to the bluebird. And here's the dragon. Gulp. He swallowed the lady to rule the cook. He swallowed the cook to fatten the squire. He swallowed the squire to calm the steed. He galloped, like, galloped and galloped at a terrible speed. He swallowed the steed right after the knight. I don't know why he swallowed the knight. It's not polite. And the horse is still running around with the squire. Clippity clop, clippity clop, clippity clop. Looks like the lady's splashing into the cook's concoction. I hope it's delicious. There was an old dragon who swallowed a castle. Oop. That does not sound like it tastes very good. Everyone's running away. Swallowed it down to the last golden tassel. It's a very fancy castle. He swallowed the castle to hold the lady. He swallowed the lady to rule the cook. He swallowed the cook to fatten the squire. He swallowed the squire to calm the steed that galloped around at a terrible speed. He swallowed the steed right after the night. I don't know why he swallowed the night. It's not polite. There was an old dragon who swallowed a moat. That's the water that goes around a castle to protect it from enemies and make it look fancy. Guzzled and gulped it right down his throat. Oh, 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 oh. Look, he's so fat. Look, there's his little leg. He can't even touch the ground. With all of that water, he started to bloat. And that's when the dragon roared. And I quote, okay, enough. I've had enough. More than enough of this swallowing stuff. Maybe I've been a tad impolite. Perchance I should only have swallowed the knight. Dragons do usually swallow knights. So he burped out the moat, oh my gosh, that caused him to bloat. He burped out the castle along with the tassel. He burped out the lady who found that quite shady. He burped out the cook with his recipe book. He burped out the squire, now blackened with fire. Oh my gosh, his booty was smoking. He was lit on fire. Then with all the power that he could amass, the dragon burped out one last billow of gas burp and with terrible speed he burped out the steed clippity 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 clop clippity 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 stop there was an old dragon who swallowed a knight ah just right good night knight hmm look the knight seems kind of happy inside that dragon belly. And no horse. And he has a sword to clean his teeth. Oh my gosh. And that's the end. The horse is going home. Maybe he'll find a new knight. Hmm. That's the end. Hmm. You know... I don't know about you, but when I think about dragons, I also think about alligators because they're both reptiles. So we're going to sing a song today about an alligator. Just kidding. It's about a crocodile. They're almost the same. They have different teeth and different noses, but they kind of look similar. So we're going to sing a song about a crocodile. Are you ready? Here we go. Five little monkeys swinging from the tree, teasing Mr. Alligator can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and snap that monkey right out of the tree. Four little monkeys swinging from the tree, Teasing Mr. Alligator can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be. And snap that monkey right out of the tree. How many monkeys now? Three. Three little monkeys swinging from the tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be. Stop that monkey.
monkey right out of the tree. Two little monkeys swinging from the tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator. Quiet as can be. <gasps> Snap that monkey right out of the tree. One little monkey swinging from the tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator. Quiet as can be. <gasps> Stop that monkey right out of the tree. No more monkeys. Oh my gosh, they all got eaten up. Maybe they shouldn't have teased him. Here's my friend, the dragon. He's back. He's going to pick a new story for us. Here we go. Ooh. This is a good one. Dragon was terrible. We're going to read about another rude dragon. My friend, this dragon is going to come down here while he listens to the story. Here we go. Dragon was terrible by Kelly DiPuccio, pictures by Greg Pozzoli. He's spray painting on that castle. That's not okay. Hmm. Dragon was terrible. He's given that king a hard time. Dragon was terrible, naturally. Dragons have a bit of terrible in them because they're dragons after all. But this dragon here, super terrible. He stomped on flowers. He played tricks on the guards. <gasps> and he spit on cupcakes. Who does that? Dragons, that's who. That's not all. He scribbled in books. I know some librarians that wouldn't be very happy about that. He threw sand. And he took candy from baby unicorns. Baby unicorns. Honestly, that's terrible. The king had had enough. Enough, the king said. And he posted this sign. Brave knights, whoever shall tame the terrible dragon shall be rewarded with a gift. It shall be a nice gift. Ye shall like it. His Royal Majesty, the King. Ooh, a mystery gift. Knights lined up to show off their dragon taming skills. They all failed miserably. And dragon just drew, grew more terrible. He chased fuzzy yellow ducklings around the boat. Look, he has a hose. He TP'd the castle. He put toilet paper all over the castle. And he burned every last royal marshmallow to a blackened crisp. Then nobody else has marshmallows to enjoy. Rude. The villagers had had enough. Enough, said the villagers. And they posted this sign. Brave people, whoever shall tame the dragon shall be rewarded with a gift from the king. It shall be a nice gift, we hope. Ye shall like it, perhaps. His royal majesty, the king. And look, dragon wrote on the wall, dragon was here, dragon was here again. Ordinary blokes and lassies lined up to try their hand at taming the dragon, and they all failed, embarrassingly so. And just when you thought it wasn't possible, Dragon grew even more terrible. <gasps> Let's see what he does. He popped birthday balloons. He drew funny faces on the drawbridge. And he burped in church loudly. Honestly, that's terrible and rude. A boy wearing a feathered cap and a look of determination had had enough. 
only he didn't say enough like you thought he would. Instead, he sketched a story. That means he drew a story. He sketched it out. You could do that. You could sketch your own story. The next day, Dragon followed a trail of marshmallows. The boy knows Dragon likes marshmallows. To a shady tree where the boy was reading. Our dragons like reading. They like listening to stories. The boy spied the dragon out of the corner of his eye and began to read aloud in a booming voice. And then the brave dragon swooped in to save the princess, he said. Dragon stopped in his tracks. But the terrible knight pulled out his wicked sword. Dragon pretended not to listen. The brave dragon roared, and Freddy Cat Knight trembled in his boots. Dragon pretended to walk away. He was listening. A crowd began to gather, and Dragon took cover behind a tree. The boy continued reading page after page after page, just like we've been doing. He was listening. Look, he crawled out on a branch of the tree. Snap, crash! Dragon landed on the ground with a terrible thud. The crowd gasped. The dragon roared. The clever boy didn't flinch. He reached out a hand to the dragon and said, Would you like to hear how the story ends? Do you guys want to hear how the story ends? Let's find out. And just when you thought it wasn't possible, dragon smiled. And he took a seat beneath the tree with the other children. Honestly, that's adorable. Look how cute. The king cheered. The villagers cheered. The baby unicorn and fuzzy ducklings cheered the loudest of all. At long last, the terrible dragon had been tamed. The end. Hey! What about the reward? Oh yes, that. The gift was a new friend. A nice dragon, of course. I think that's a pretty good reward. For making a new friend, having a new friend. And they're watering flowers together and playing with the fuzzy ducklings. So cute and nice. The end. That was a good story. My friend the dragon's gonna come back up here to say goodbye. Here he is. Thanks for joining us for story time today. We miss you at the library and we hope to see you soon. Have a good day. Bye.